Hey, this is Poppy with CountrySmart.net. Today we'll be talking about Disney World dining options at Walt Disney World. What and where you eat at Walt Disney World is an important part of your total experience. And if you're not careful, it could eat up your budget too. Dining at Disney can be very costly, but with planning and preparation you can save money and even eat reasonably healthy. If you're new to Walt Disney World, it may surprise you, but unlike most theme parks, Disney allows you to bring food and drinks with you through the turnstile. You don't have to sneak a soda in your hat or uh, hide M&Ms in your pocket. Nope. Just take them in a backpack. No ice chest, glass containers, etc. are allowed. Use your common sense here. We pack some uh, cereal, granola type bars and nuts and uh, you know refillable plastic cup. <laughs> I'm okay with water from a water fountain. Just fill up your cup and don't pay $3.50 for a bottle of water. Save some money on your snacks and you can budget some really nice meals. I would suggest not overloading yourself with these snacks. I noticed one family with three two liter sodas uh, several family sized bags of chips and candy and other things. Uh, really, do you want to be left uh, holding that bag? I'm uh, sure you want to enjoy the food at Disney and you have tons of op options from the budget minded to the wow, <laughs> are you ready for this? Uh, you know, take out the second mortgage type of deal. Uh, but Disney dining packages are available. The types of eateries encompass a range of experiences from snack shacks, counter service, full service sit down meals, and buffets with character dining. Each can add to your overall enjoyment of Walt Disney World. Many require an advanced reservation and some are way out of my price range. Almost all restaurants at Disney World have a menu outside or just inside and they are listed on most of the guide maps. Walt Disney World has just about any type of cuisine you can think of. It's not just a burger and fries at the quick service counters and they can have just as much character as a full service restaurant. Epcot has the most international food offerings while Animal Kingdom has the least full service restaurant. Each park has different variety and types of establishments for food. I travel without kids, so character dining isn't important to me. Your kids may love having breakfast with Mickey, Minnie, or dinner with all the Disney princesses. Prices vary for this by location and mealtime. Children's prices range from $10 to $35 per child. Adult prices can range from $15 to $58 per adult. As you can see, your meal could be a big portion of your entire budget. It may be worth it if you and your kids want to experience the characters in an up-close manner. You should make reservations well in advance for character dining and ask what characters you will be meeting. Some of the character dining is available at the resorts. You may dine there even if you're not staying at that resort. Again, make reservations. Our typical plan is to eat at quick service locations, which serve nice sized portions and have fruit and vegetable options instead of fries quite frequently. Some have extensive condiment or relish bars available. You can get a grilled chicken sandwich and fix up a salad from the self-serve bar. We eat cheap most of our stay. The budget resorts have cafeteria type restaurants with several menu options and we have found this to be a good deal, especially for breakfast. Not all eateries at Disney serve breakfast. We also purchase the refillable mug for use at our resort. It costs about $15 per person and is only refillable at your resort, but we were staying several days, ate at least breakfast at the resort, and could have as much coffee, tea, and soft drinks and water as we wanted. Uh, it, would, it would have cost much more if we had purchased coffee each morning uh, and drinks for any meals or, or stopping by there at the restaurant. It would have cost a lot more. Uh, in fact, 
that's the plastic cup we took with us and refilled in the water uh, in the park with water uh, at the quick service locations uh, sometimes they'll even give you a cup of ice water if you ask okay my husband and I rarely drink sodas we usually drink water we save lots of money on beverages <clears throat> be good for the majority of your Walt Disney World adventure but you really should splurge once or twice for a very memorable experience. And if character dining with your five-year-old would be the icing on your cake, then make those arrangements. She will only believe in Cinderella for a short time. Make a memory. Disney has some unique dining venues. Some are only during special times of the year, and some may book up months in advance. One of my most special memories was when my husband surprised me with reservations at Blue Bayou at Disneyland. It is a fine dining style restaurant located inside the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. The entrance is on a side street in New Orleans Square. It is a quaint outdoors New Orleans cafe at twilight. Spanish moss is draped from the oak trees and paper lanterns are strung across the courtyard. As we dined, we could hear the boats going by in the background and the night sounds of the south. I told my husband Disney missed the call of the whippoorwill to round it all out. But I didn't miss the sweltering humidity nor the buzz and itch of mosquitoes that would have been present had we really been outdoors at twilight in New Orleans. So you can find budget meals at Walt Disney World, plan ahead, consider taking your own snacks and look into the Disney dining plan. Make reservations well in advance for special or unique dining services. Have at least one real splurge. It's Disney. Let the memories begin. Be sure to check out our website at countrysmart.net subscribe to our videos, give us a thumbs 